Hey y'all, we finally got it. We was having some technical difficulties here, but uh Okay. Let's get ready to go, y'all. Charvet in the building. Shalom. Um, day, y'all. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's get ready to get it in, though. We haven't even started. Here we go. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the evening scripture study on this 18th day in September 2019. Y'all, let's get ready to get it in. Let me let me look at something right quick, y'all. See what we doing here. Let's see what we doing. Okay, we good. We can live from here. Okay. Let's go to Saint Corinthians thirteen and five. Thirteen and five. Saint Corinthians thirteen and five. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come for you as humbly as we know how um, believing you at your word, asking you to show up and show out, do what only you can do in our lives where we need you. We need a reveling word. I'm coming from you. Send, send a word that we may grow thereby. We trust you. We believe you. We thank you. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all man. Let's deal with it. Second Corinthians uh, 13, y'all. Um. <laughs> Breaking stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get ready to get it in. Second, Second Corinthians 13. Look, uh, let's let's start at the uh, fifth verse. I, I talk about this type of stuff for a reason. So here we go. It says, um, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Um, that, whoo, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. And then that say, examine yourself to see whether you are in the faith. Um, how many are in the faith? See, that that's crucial right there. If people had the proper ability to examine themselves and see it for what it really is, you see a lot of people changing. But because the inability for people to be honest with themselves, it's hard for people to be um, honest with themselves, and that's just the truth. It's just, it's just, it's just a real difficult thing for people to do. And then the word teaches that sin is deceitful. If a person is in, in sin. Sin has uh, a seducing mechanism, seducing spirits. Sin will seduce you into causing you to agree because the carnal mind agrees with sin. 
the, the flesh, you know, like to have his cake and eat it too. Um, <laughs> but look what it says. It says, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And then it says, prove your own self. First John 4, 1 John 4.1 says, Beloved, believe not every spirit. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. Test the spirit whether they be of Yah. Because many false prophets are going out into the world. When was the last time y'all met a false prophet that admitted they was one? <laughs> How many of y'all met a false prophet that swear they not a false prophet? So 1 John 4 and 1 say, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. How you try the spirit? Folks be going around talking about try the spirit by the spirit. What are you talking about? Anyway, because the word don't say that. But anyway, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. How, do you, how does one try the spirit? Okay, look. Blood, believe not in spirit, but try the spirits, whether they be of Yah. Let's go look at it then. Let's just let's 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 go let's go at it. Let's go at it. First John, y'all. Four. Look what it say. Look what it say. Four and one. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. How do you try the spirit? By the word. Because there is a way to see right unto a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. So if there's a, a, a way to seem right, but it will kill you, it will destroy you, because my, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. The, the, one can be convinced that they're right. I, I, I have not met a false prophet that told me they was a false prophet. They just, they believe, they don't think that. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. You got to test it through the word. And it's easier for us to test the spirit when the spirit is in somebody else. Todd, when it's you. Looking in the, in, in the mirror of the word. At oneself. That's difficult. I'm just being honest with you. That's difficult. Somebody commit adultery, you talk to them about it, they got a good reason. Sit down and talk to them. Folks got a good reason why they on drugs or why they cuss folks out or why they hurt people, whatever they do. Talk to them. They'll have a good reason. Folks make excuses for their wickedness. That's the nature of being wicked. A witch don't think she a witch. <laughs> Blood, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits where they have Yah, because many false prophets are going out into the world. So not only do we have to be willing to, to try the spirit of a false prophet, but we need to try our own spirit to see if we the false prophet. If we're the ones that's running around here have a form of yawliness denying the power thereof, what does that mean? Having a form of yawliness but denying the power thereof. Who can tell me what that means? Having a form of yawliness, what, what, what does that mean? A form of yawliness. Is it being religious, singing, and hollering hallelujah, and all man, and you better preach, go ahead, all that are religious stuff, having a form of yahweh, but denying the power, the power to do what? To live right? Yeah. Having a form of yahweh, but denying the power, the power to live right, to become a new creation, to become new in him, because the attributes of the flesh act a certain way. And the spirit of Yah is totally the opposite. It's totally the opposite. So when they say, blood, believe not every spirit, what spirit is he talking about? 
The Messiah said the words that I speak on you are spirit and life. There are words that are spirit and death. The words that Yah speak is spirit and life. The words the devil speak is spirit and death. They're both spirit. One gives life and the other gives death. There's a spirit that governs itself in the ways of eternal life. There's also spirits that govern themselves in the ways of eternal life. You got folks that have a form of yardiness. They're, 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 they're religious on the outside. They act like they belong to Yah on the outside. They say all the right stuff. But you shall know every tree by the fruit it bear by what it do. But the coldest part about it is, we're talking about salvation. It's easy for us to see a tree and the fruit that it bear and say that's not of Yah. It's easy for us to do that. A little more difficult when you're looking in the mirror. When your fruit ain't cool. People have a tendency to start making excuses for themselves. People, people, people like to coin uh, uh, stuff like God know my heart. That's when all that come into play. God, the God know my heart folks start stepping up when their lifestyle is foul. Hard for a person to come clean. Hard for a person to admit that they the false prophet. Hard for a person to admit that they're the hypocrite, that they're the ones with the form of yawliness denying the power thereof, right? 2 Corinthians 13, 5, y'all, we still here? Examine yourself. I'm just trying to show you the difficulty that people have of looking at themselves. Folks going to make excuses for them not obeying what the word say. And to them, it's a good excuse. The Messiah in Colossians triumphed over all excuses. He triumphed over all of them openly. The word teaches that the Messiah was tempted in all points. So we all without excuse. He was hungry. He was abandoned. He was lied on. He was spit on. He was beat on. He was tortured. He was misunderstood. He was taken advantage of. You name it, he claimed it. He'd been through it all. But yet he still obeyed the most high. Sin is deceitful, the word teaches. It will trick you into justifying yourself when you all wrong. You blessed if you're able to examine yourself. You are blessed if you're able to examine yourself. If you're wrong, do you know how blessed you are if you're wrong and you know it and you're able to admit it? And then make the necessary adjustments in order to change. Because I'm going to tell you right now, religious folks can't. Folks that have a form of yawliness, denying the power thereof, cannot do that. You accuse them of something, they going to get offended. They going to they gonna, they gonna switch teams. They going to end up working for the devil. When, when, you, when, when you shy away from truth to the level that it will take you. Because it's like a bottomless pit. See, when, when, you, when you go against truth and you don't repent, you're going to sink deeper and deeper and you're going to become more and more wicked. Look, look what happened. Um, second Peter, y'all, I want y'all to, I, re I really want y'all to see this. I'm going to try to help today. Second Peter two, look what it say. Um, beginning at the first verse, look at this, watch this, look what it say. But there were false prophets among the people. Now look at this, look at this. Again, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. Whether it be of Yah, because many false prophets are going out into the world. So how you know a person's spirit? You got to know the word. If you don't know the word, you, 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 you'll look up with a false prophet. You'll get bit by him and you end up uh, a devil yourself. You'll get to the agreeing with him. 
you, you, you enter into a covenant agreement with them. You enter into the alt with them. You enter into the problem against Yah with them. You, you end up sideways. You end up in a snare to where now you're a little weird. You're not the same no more. Look what it say. It say, but there were false prophets also among the people. They're not across the street. They're right in the midst. But there were false prophets also amongst the people, even as there are false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable hearsay. Private, shh, privately. It ain't open. When people, when, 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 when people of the light, they, they operate in the light. When people are of the devil, they work in the shadows. They work in the dark. It's hard to work in the dark of a true ministry where Yah shines the light. When people are open and honest, they just open with it. It ain't no bunch of secrets and side stuff, right? But when people get to move in the side, in the name of, I don't want to be in it, I don't want to, all that old satanic stuff, if you get put in it, you're in it. And when you of Yah, the, the, in, in Ephesians 5 and 11 say, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but yet reprove them. Mean correct them. How do you correct them? You got to know the word. You, you got to know the word. If things are said and done that go against Yah, you're supposed to act on it. Period. The way the word tell you to. Folks trying to help, you can't, you can't do the right thing when you're carnal. Look what he said. He said, but there were false prophets also among the people. He's explaining, right? Even as there, we ain't exempt. Even as there are false teachers among you, what do they do? Bring, they, they privately shh, bring in damnable hearsays. Privately. Don't tell nobody. The don't tell nobody, folk. I ain't going to say nothing. Pride to being in damnable hearsay lies. But when you don't do things Yahweh, you get bit. Who privately shall bring in damnable hearsay, even denying Adonai that bought them. You denying Yah when you do that. You're going against Yah. You're a devil now. Um, the devil is the accuser of the brother. That's what the devil do. That's how you deny Yah when you start being the accuser of the brethren. Shh. Guess what happened? All that type stuff. I ain't going to say nothing. You just entered into a covenant agreement. Shh. Even deny Yah that bought them and bring upon himself swift destruction. Wonder where they at now. Swift, y'all will destroy you for that. Look what it says. And many shall follow their pronunciation way. That's the sad part. Folks get caught up in it. Wordless folks that should know better, don't know better. And many shall follow. They're going to follow. They're going to get bitten and follow. I see what you're saying. And many shall follow their pronunciation way by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. The, the way of truth is, is lied on. They lying on the truth. Damnable hearsay. Shh. <laughs> and many shall follow their pronunciation ways by reason of whom the way of truth is evil spoken of. Because when it's of Yah, it ain't in secret. And it lines up with the word. 100%. It lines up with the word. It's based on love. It's based on reconciliation. It's based on the power of Yah. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you. <laughs> they mess folks up because they're in the secret keeping. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah, you do. You entertained it now. You didn't hurt it. You didn't got involved. And now you're responsible for what's going on. 
You're a partaker now. Because when it's brought to you, you're supposed to deal with it. Oh, y'all don't play. Look what it say. And through covetousness, they sh they, they shall they with fain words make merchandise of you. Look, let's break it down. Look what they say. International. But there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. They will secretly introduce destructive hearsays, even denying the sovereign uh, Adonai who bought them, bring swift destruction on themselves. Many will follow their depraved conduct and, and will bring the way of truth in the uh, uh, disrespute, whatever that means. <laughs> in their greed, these teachers will exploit you with fabricated stories. Their condemnation has long been hanging over them and their destruction has not been sleeping. It went on to say, for if Yah spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them in the chains of darkness to, to uh, be reserved on the judgment. Well, back to the main part I wanted. The truth is being lied on. With damnable hearsays. Blood, believe not every spirit. False prophets among you. Blood, believe not every spirit, but test the spirit. And the only way you can test the spirit, you got to know the word. You got to, look, when we want to be saved for real, like say, say if somebody is in error and they belong to Yah. It's not like people that uh, belong to Yah don't end up in error because sometimes people get in error. But when you belong to Yah, the word rescues you. The word will come rescue you from you. The word just don't rescue from other people. We got to have the ability to be honest with ourselves. When we're in error, we need to know we need to be delivered. You don't want to be the type of person that can't sing. And everyone around you know it but you. You don't want to be the one that auditioned for American Idol. And you sound hideous. And they put you on national TV as, 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 a, as, a, as a, a blonker, as a blooper. You a national blooper. Thought you were sounding good and you ain't nothing but a giant chuckle. You done went viral, folks chuckling. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want to be the false prophet. You don't want to be the wicked, loud religious person. That everybody know you sounding brass and tingling simple because you can't do the simple things of Yah. You don't know how to love. You don't know how to forgive. You don't know what to do. You start fighting against Yah. You bring problems. You don't, you don't want to be that person. And, that, and how you not be that person? Sneaking deacon. You don't want to be the freaking sneaking deacon that everybody know you like little girls. You don't want to be that. You, you, you don't, you don't, <laughs> you want to be able to see yourself. Blah, believe not every spirit. Whose spirit? It could be your own spirit. Folks, it's not running around here admitting that they false prophets. A false prophet don't believe they're a false prophet. What reveals the fact that they're a false prophet is the word. And if they don't know the word, that's why they're a false prophet. And if you don't know the word either, you can be subject, subjugated to a false prophet and don't even know it. Folks is in fake ministries with pimping pastors, wordless ministries. Truth come, you got folks that I don't want to hear it. All I need is Jesus. I was born a Baptist. I'm a die Baptist. All that old crazy stuff. You got folks that don't want to hear it. Which, which renders them, puts them in a situation they don't know how to examine themselves. You got folks that, with the spirit of Casper the Friendly Ghost because they don't know the word. So they don't know how to uh, 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 try the spirits. Only those that can try the spirit is those that know the word. 
You got folks that get caught up in, in a bunch of prophecies and folks get caught up in a bunch of soothsaying and, and hearsays and a bunch of cliches, try the spirit, buy the spirit, and, and God bless the child that has his own and all. None of that stuff is in the word. But when you don't know the word, you don't know. Folks don't know they shouldn't assemble. Folks don't know they got to forgive, they got to love. Folks can be doing wicked and they don't even know they're wicked. Folks do something that's baby saint wicked. I mean, it's sad when you're in the church for 30, 40 years, you do something that's so elementary and it's 100% wicked, but you don't even know that it's wicked. To the point that you'll say that God told me to do that. You got folks running around here talking about what God told them to do, and it don't line up no way, no shape, no how with the word. But since they wordless, they don't even know. Just that's like the person that can't sing, but think they can sing. These are the times we're living in. The word clearly says, beloved, believe not in the spirit, but test it. Try the spirit. How do you try the spirit? You got to know the word. And if you know the word, you know, uh, -uh that, don't, that don't line up with the word what you said. That don't line up with the word with what you're doing. Somebody preaching. They preaching a straight up lie. Folks hollering, amen, amen. You better preach because it sounds good to the flesh. It sounds good to the flesh. Worldly cliches. Voodoo proverbs and all that. All this old, old worldly stuff. Folks don't know the word, so they're agreeing with it. You got folks that support ministries, Catholicized ministries. Folks gathering for Christmas and Easter. Folks gathering for Halloween. They don't know the word. They don't know no better. Every satanic thing that Satan set up, they're a part of it. Talking about how much they love Jesus. Because <laughs> they don't know. They don't, they, they don't know a false prophet. Their bishop is a false prophet. Don't even know it. Their pastor is a false prophet. Don't even know it. When the word says, Beloved, believe not in the spirit, but try it. The, the assumption in this scripture is that you have the ability to try it. And in order to try it, you got to know the scriptures. You got to be studying to show yourself approved. You got to be meditating in the word. Then you'll know if, 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 if it's a false prophet or not. Some people are in error and don't know it. And as soon as they find out, they repent. Because you could be the false prophet. Uh, Priscilla and Aquila ran into Apollos, right? I think, what is that, the Acts, the 10th chapter? But they ran into Apollos, and he didn't have it all together. He didn't have his doctrine all together. But, but he was humble, and they were able to explain it to him more perfectly. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me find it. Let me find. I, I, I want. To, I just want to show y'all this. Why not, right? Let's see. Um. Let's go to Acts 18 right quick, y'all. I just want, I want to show y'all this. I ain't going to keep y'all long. But look at this. Um, let's go. Uh, look. There's a certain, okay. I start 21st verse, 18 to 24. A certain Jew named Apollos, born in Alexandria, uh, an eloquent man, mighty in the scriptures, came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of Yah. 
And being fervent in the spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of Yah, knowing only the baptism of John. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. And when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took on they took him onto them and expounded onto him the way of Yah more perfectly. See, he didn't know. He, he was teaching what he knew. You got some folks that teach stuff and it's not perfect. But, but they're, they're honest in what they're doing. And when you humble, so can come along and explain it to you more profoundly. There's people with different levels of error in their doctrine. But when you belong to Yah, you keep growing and you keep going. You got folks that can be straight up flat out wrong. Flat out wrong. But they love Yah. I'm talking about flat out wrong. Their doctrine is twisted. Their behavior is twisted because they don't know the word like they should. You got some folks under the influence of once saved, always saved. So they believe they're a sinner saved by grace and they send it up a storm, but they really love Yah. And you come to them and you explain to him, no, it don't work like that. And you begin to break down the word to them. They're correctable when they belong to Yah. Nicodemus came to the Messiah by night. He was embarrassed uh, of truth. He, 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 was a, he was a leader of the Jews. He was a religious dude. But that word was pulling on him. And when you belong to Yah, the word will pull on you even when you're in error. Folks been in church 20, 30 years, smoking cigarettes, getting drunk, clubbing, high, but they love the most high. They don't know no better. But when the truth come along, they change. And, the, and they're willing to change. It becomes difficult for folks that's not willing to examine themselves, right? Look what it say, y'all. I'm trying to help. Look. Beloved, 1 John 4, 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Because there's a way to see right onto a man, but the end of the ways of death. You can believe what you're doing is right, but it's wrong. So the word is telling you when you say, don't believe every spirit. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't even believe yourself because there's a way to see right onto a man, but the end of the ways of death. That's why he say acknowledge him in all your ways and he'll direct your path. You got to acknowledge him in what you do. You definitely got to acknowledge the ways of what somebody else do. That's why John 3 and 3 and 4, uh, 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 um, Romans 3 and 3 and 4 say, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yah without effect? Yah forbid, let Yah be true, but every man a liar, including yourself. You got to let the word be true. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits where they have Yah, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Are you a false prophet? Do you, do you, do you, do you teach false uh, 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 word to your children, to yourself, to your family members? You might. You got folks in their house saying all kind of stuff to their family that's fake as heck. They think it's true. Poor kids don't know no better. They don't know the word yet. They learning the word from you. And you full of falsehood. But when you honest, when you got when you got the spirit of a, like a Apollos, Priscilla and Aquila can hear you teach and say, no, nah, that don't sound right. Some folks, you tell them that don't sound right, they get offended. And now they're going to turn into a triple devil. Not only do they teach and think falsely, but now they offend it with truth. Now they're going to start lying against the truth. What, what Peter was talking about. You got folks that get offended with truth. They done made up their own Elohim. So now, and when you, when you go against their Elohim that they made up by the figment of their imagination, their religious imagination, you go against that, you make them mad at you. Now they become the enemy, your enemy. They become the enemy of truth. That's what happened in the Messiah. He came unto his own, they was religious. They said, we be Abraham's seed. They was religious. He came with truth. They said, kill him, crucify him. You don't want to be like that, y'all. You want to be, look, beloved, believe not every spirit, but test it, try it. Whether it's of Yah, whether it line up with the word or not. Why? Because many false prophets are going out to the world and you could be one of them. Paul was one. 
and tell the word met him on the road to Damascus, knocked him off his donkey and blinded him, told Ananias to go pray for him. He was in error. He loved Yah, but he was in error. He was there when they stoned Stephen to death. He was holding their coats. Read it. It's in the book of Acts, in the history. He was holding the coats of them that killed Stephen. He heard Stephen pre preaching. That's why the Mashiach, when he knocked him down, said it's hard to kick against the pricks. You fighting against truth. He was kicking against truth. He loved Yah, but he was fighting against truth because he was religious. Got religious folk. You got to get through their religion to save their souls. And some folks are so religious, they're turning the devils right before your eyes. Seem like they was once with Yah. Now they fighting against truth. Now they full of poison. And all they doing is going around and poisoning people. Full of witchcraft now. They used to be with the Ruah. Now they completely consumed by the devil. Completely offended. Completely satanic. Completely working in the dark. Because the children of the light work in the light. The children of the light don't, don't slither around secretly making calls and, 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 and inboxing. And for, when, when you were truth, you, you, you had a conversation publicly, openly. You don't act like Adam and Eve when the word walk in the garden, they run. Word told you to get with the folks. Word told you there's a problem you're supposed to go deal with. Let's talk. And if, and if the conversation ain't going right, you don't get to start making up and lying and making phone call. You got to go get somebody else and bring them into the conversation so that every word can be established. That's why the word say, receive not an accusation against the elder, except for two or three witnesses. And then you're supposed to get with them with the two or three witnesses so that every word can be established. Because it ain't no secret stuff. Ain't no back, back room stuff. Uh oh, damnable hearsays whereby the truth is evil spoken of. But many people shall follow their pronunciation's way. They get to get, keep in secrets, and and, and 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 the longer you 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 run with that stuff, it get in your spirit. Then it take month. What what took three days to get in your spirit? It could take three years to get out. Blood bleed not every spirit. But try the spirit. You supposed to be. You supposed to be uh, led by the ruach. Had a sword of the spirit. The devil come at you. You ready for him? Y'all don't have us ignorant concerning Satan and his devices. You ready? Well, let's talk about it then. We ain't gonna have no secret sidebars now. We get the new doctrine. Oh, I ain't in it. You get to get an earful. Then all of a sudden you ain't in it because you're not going you not gonna expose. You're not going to shine the light. You're not going to get to the bottom of it. Filled with poison. Now it's a secret. Blood. Believe not every spirit, but test the spirit. What spirit are you of? Whether, whether, whether the spirit is of Yah. Let's look at the word. Should you be saying this? Should you be doing this? Well, what is the word telling me to do? It's definitely telling me not to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but yet reprove it, correct it. How you correct it? Through the word. What the word say do? Let's let's let, let, let let's talk about it openly. That's what the word say about it. You got a problem with them? Go to them. <laughs> they didn't hear you. Then I could bring me. See, you brought me when you called me. So let's call them. Blood, believe not every spirit, but test it, try it. Whether, whether it's of Yah. We serving Yah, Yah. Because many false prophets go down to the world. Okay, look. This is a description that we finna dig out. We, I just was setting all that up. We gotta get this food out of the scripture before I let y'all go. Look, 2 Corinthians 13, we still here in 5th verse. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Because we could potentially be a false prophet. You got folks that's quick to believe that Yah's talking to them and telling them stuff. You got people quick to, to start moving against the word and don't know no better. We got to fix that. So, so look, I, I'm, I'm making this plain. Look, 
Children of the Most High make mistakes. I'm saying that to everybody on the sound of my voice. Send it viral, y'all. People make mistakes. But I'm going to tell you one thing about a child of the Most High. They're honest. They're not satanic in their intentions. They don't get offended with the truth to the point that they start fighting against Yah. They literally turn into a devil. See, a religious person looks real yali until they're confronted with truth. It takes a situation to come. And when a situation comes, that's being baptized with fire. That's what the word is talking about. When you're baptized with fire, a situation will come that will expose a person and show what, what spirit they really are of. Yeah, a situation does that. Folks be preaching and teaching. Next thing you know, they're a pedophile. What happened? They got put in a situation with some kids in the back room. That's what happened. The situation. They were baptized with fire. A situation came. And what was in them came out. It was there the whole time. But it had to be manifested. It came out. <laughs> Examine yourself. Folks looking good on the outside until a situation come to expose their lust, their hatred. Expose that they're religious, including ourselves. But see, the key is, if it, a just man falls seven times, but they get up, it's the wicked to fall into mischief. If a person fall into a sin and they belong to Yah, they going to get up. And you know what's going to get them up? The word. Correction going to come. And when you belong to Yah, you're correctable. Because Yah chases every child that he got. Hebrews 12 says, what child is it that the Most High don't chase it? If you be without chastisement, then you bastards and not son. Bastard mean fatherless. Y'all can't deal with you. You're of the devil when he can't correct you. So the word come to correct his children. A goat is going to prove to be a goat. Goats and sheep growing together. Wheat and tares growing together. They look the same. But you can tell the difference when correction comes. From a spiritual standpoint, sheep and goat from a spiritual standpoint look the same. But when correction comes, that's when it's going to separate. The word going to come and it's going to separate the sheep from the goats. It's a two-edged sword. It divides the sheep from the goat. When correction comes, when the word comes and expose you, when you belong to Yah, the word exposed David. He was out of line. The word exposed him and he had to admit it. It's me. Man, the Yah said, no, it was you, buddy. He said, whoever done this deed should die. He said, it is you. He had to come clean. He had to come clean. And that's what the word do. The word will hunt you down if you belong to him and you're going to come clean. Because when the word hunt down someone that don't belong to him, they're going to turn into a bigger devil. They're going to be exposed. And now they full-fledged a uh, 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 witch. 100% warlock now. Unless they repent. It's not up to you. It's not up to me. It's up to whoever it is to whether the word can work in their life, to work in their heart, to correct them. That ain't your spouse. What you doing with them? You gonna come up with a worldly excuse. Oh, my wife wasn't treating me right. Well, I never should have married them. The word don't give you, 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 you could have been adultery, period. Prophet. <laughs> and you have the devil trying to cover it. Come clean. Marriage is a choice. God told me not to do it. I was disobedient. You did it. If it wasn't a choice, he never would have let Paul say, I would that you be as me, unmarried. You didn't have to marry them. The, the agreement was when you married them. Now, if y'all told you not to and you did it anyway, you still did it. And now you got to abide by the rules of the marriage. But you got folks that's of the devil. They're going to turn on y'all and you. And they're going to go off with their sin, still acting like they went to the most high. You're not. You got to undo that. You got to repent. You got to fix that, baby bub. Examine yourselves. It's difficult, huh? <laughs> Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. 
How are you going to examine yourself? By the word? Y'all, you got to know the word in order to examine yourself. You got folks that's been in church for years, still smoking weed, still getting high, hanging with their partners, still worldly as heck, still cuss, still, but they just is kind of nice, a nice person. Casper the friendly ghost. You ain't saved. Unless you come off of among them and be separate. Carrying the word, you're changed. You're a new creation in him, and you're the light of the world. You're different now. Examine yourself. Who can be honest with themselves if, the, if they're in error, willing to admit it, and then willing to change? Because the word says if you cover your sins, you ain't going to admit it. That's covering them. You will act like you're all good. You ain't all good. Covering your sin. He that covers sins will not prosper. But he that confess, be honest. Admit it and forsake. Confess it, then stop doing it. They shall have mercy. Examine yourself, the fifth, fifth verse says. Who can do that? Examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith. You in the faith? By whose standard? Yours or the word? Is Yah saying you in the faith or you? Because in Matthews, Matter Yahoo, y'all, 7 and 21, he going to break the news to the people. I don't even know you. They're going to go down their religious resume and he going to break the news to them. I don't even know you. And I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want that to happen on that day. You want it to happen now. You want the word to be able to come expose you to cause you to examine yourself. And if you come up short, at least now you can make the necessary changes. Wife give her husband the blues, but show sure love to talk about y'all. Yeah. Examine yourself. Stingy folks. Don't support ministry like you should. Oh, that's for everybody else? You need to examine yourself. Folks holding grudges. You got folks so twisted that they go against their brother or sister and say, Yah told them to do it. Folks is off the chain. So that, I guess that means Yah told them that the other person is a devil and they not. <laughs> Yah told them that they a prophet or a prophetess and the other person is a devil. So they get to go against them, get rid of them. <laughs> That's what Yah told them. And they believe that crap. <laughs> Examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith. Do you have the ability to do that? Prove your own self. Look, it said prove it. You, you and y'all prove it. Walk in love. Walk in forgiveness. Do what the words say do. Prove it to yourself. You ain't got to prove it to nobody else. You do. Just, just to establish that, because I'm going to go right back here, and then I'm going to let y'all go. Look, Romans 12. Look what this say. 12 and 1. I, I'm begging you. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yah, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to Yah, which is your re reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove, see, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yah. Your body is a living sacrifice to prove the, the perfect will of Yah. The good, what's good, what's acceptable, what's perfect. Who are you proving it to? Others. Whoever looking at you, because you're a living sacrifice. Like the Messiah, he was a living sacrifice for the world. Well, now you're a living sacrifice for the world. Your, your life is an open book read of all men. So don't go, don't get in your spot. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. That's that worldly stuff. And if you examine, you got an attitude like that, you're proving that you're not saved. You're proving that you don't know Yah. You're proving you don't know his word. So I just want to stab the word said that. Now, whether you agree or not, that's up to you. But the word is telling you, you got to prove to the world what's good, acceptable, and the perfect will of Yah. Going back to this scripture is telling you to prove it to yourself. You got to do both. What's more important, you can't prove it to nobody else unless you, you can't prove it to nobody else if you can't prove it to yourself. And if you can't prove it to yourself, then you're a hypocrite. Trying to prove it to somebody else because you ain't living nothing. You just have a form of yali that's denying the power thereof. Look, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Whether you're obeying Yah or not. Faith without works is dead. So whether you be in the faith, if you're in the faith, you're obeying the word. Faith in the word is obey the word. Faith in Yah is obeying Yah. Examine yourself whether you're obeying Yah or not. Prove it.
It said, prove it to your own self. Prove your own self. Then it asked a question. Know you not your own self? Or are you the one that can't sing but but and everyone know it but you? You can't dance, but everyone know it but you. Everyone know it but you. That's not a good place to be. Know you not your own self? Don't you know that you're claiming to be saved and you still in the strip club, still getting drunk and high, still fornicating, commit adultery? And you want to, now you want to start talking about grace. Well, in Jude, there's a grace that was turned into lasciviousness. You got to be talking about that one because the real grace gives you the power to live right. Know you're not your own self. Do you know you're of the devil if you live like the devil? Did you know the word say you should know every tree by the fruit to bear? You should know every person by what they do, period. You want to make excuses for what you do? You should have an excuse for doing what Yah told you to do through the Ruah, through his spirit. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You have the power to change. You can walk away from sin through the power of the Ruah. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Examine yourself whether you're in the, whether you're in the faith. Look at yourself. Examine yourself. Are you obeying Yah or not? And if you're not, admit it so you can start. The Messiah had a problem with the religious folks because they couldn't admit they was wrong. And he said, since you can't admit it, keep your sins. You got folks that's wrong as two left shoes. A baby saint will tell them. They're supposed to be strong in y'all. A baby saint will tell you, oh, you out of pocket as heck. They hook up with religious folks that don't know the word like they should. But anyone that know anything about y'all would know easy you out of pocket <laughs> and will tell you you out of pocket. And it's sad when you don't know it. Maybe your conscience was seared with hot iron and you can't be saved. Because you can't be saved if you can't admit you're wrong. When you're wrong and can't admit it, you're done. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And it said, prove it. How you prove it? By doing what's right. Admitting you were wrong and then fix it. No, you're not your own self. Oh, you don't know? You don't know you're wrong? How that the Messiah is in you? Except you be reprobates. That's it, y'all. I'm done with this lesson. Except you be a reprobate. Because if you're a reprobate, yeah. you can't examine yourself. You can't admit you wrong. You're going to make your wrong right. And you're going to go to hell first. Yeah. Can't admit you wrong. You'll die and go to hell first. You got some folks that's that religious. God told me to do it. Okay. I ain't listening to no man. Listen to the word. The word said you wrong. You can't sleep with them. You can't get drunk. You can't. You can't hang. You can't do what you're doing. Stop. You can't. Except you be reprobates. Come on, y'all. We got some proving to do. Prove it to your own self, like the word said. Prove your own self. That you can obey Yah, that you can walk in love, that you can walk in faith. Obedience to the word. Prove it. Prove it by doing it. Because the Mashiach is in you. Right? If he in you, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. If he in you, you got the greater one living in you. And you got the power to become a new creation. A new creature in him. And you can live it. You can prove that which is good and acceptable and the perfect will of the most high. Your life going to line up with the word. You're going to be walking in love and forgiveness and you're going to be obedient to what he tell you to do. Is that all right? Let's do that, y'all. Now let's pray. Spirit of the most high, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you, homies. We know how gleaning in the truth of your word is tight, but it's right. 
but we thank you for giving us the power to walk on the narrow road. Because wide is the road to lead to destruction. Many there be that go in there at. Straight and narrow is the path to lead to life. Few to be to find it. But we're the few, the believer, experiencing the power thereof. Are we willing to examine ourselves, compare our lives to the word, and line up with the word? We're going to line up with the word. We repent from all sins. We're not going to cover our sins. We're going to confess it and be honest. We're going we're gonna to admit our sins and then we're going to repent from it that we might have mercy. We even thank you for this. We accept forgiveness of sin and a changed heart. In Yahushua's mighty name, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all may. That was the lesson for tonight. We pray that the word found you and unbound you if you were bound. Yeah. Prayerfully, the word didn't offend you to the point that you make agreement with the devil, but that you continue to roll with the Ruah, walk in the spirit of repentance and change. Is that all right? I pray that's all right. Um, if you were blessed by the lesson and feel that somebody else can be blessed by it as well, push the share button. If you're a supporter of this ministry, you're blessed. <laughs> if you're able to sow into this ministry, you 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 love y'all. And y'all gonna bless you. If you like to sow into this ministry, you still blessed. All you gotta do is have a cash out. You got the cash out, put in 510-209-5818, and you'll see dollar sign Yahoo to Israel pop up. You'll know you're at the right place. 510-209-5818. Y'all want to talk about the word? I'm in the mood to talk about the word. Anybody was blessed by the word and want to give me a testimony concerning the lesson? 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Y'all be Baruch. Baruch Shalom. I'm gone.